Hey, it's Keza, also known as Skyler Loves Scotty Movies. I am back here with vlog number 17. <laughs> wow, that's a tongue twister. Not. Um, and this is going to be a request done by my good friend and my original top 10 Thursdays partner, James the Bossman. I salute you. Um, last night on Facebook, I put three different topics that I want to do for topic 17 and to be honest what James said I totally want to do so I'm gonna do this quick vlog about a certain TNA current knockout champion and if you guys don't know TNA or don't know who I'm on about, I'm on about Tyron Terrell. Um, I'll give you a little bit of backstory on Tyron Terrell and then I'll give you my thoughts and how I feel about her career and her heel turn and stuff like that. So, um, we start in the year 2000 and I think it's 2007 or 2006, don't quote me on it where she starred in the WWE's version of ECW as a... She was originally a interviewer called Tiffany who was interviewing the superstars and then she did a little bit in the ring but she wasn't really used correctly until 2000 and... Two, hang on... The latter end of 2012 will say when in TNA at the time Brooke Hogan was the VIP, v, VP of the knockout, she was the vice president, she was in charge of the knockout and at that time in TNA she was really good for the job. Um, if you don't know who Brooke Hogan is, Brooke Hogan is the biological daughter of the great Hulk Hogan himself, Teddy Belair and she brought in who's now Taryn Terrell as a referee and she started this little bit of a feud with Gail Kim and she had a few matches she had a, a last standing well a last knockout standing match which is basically whoever first gets up to a count of 10 wins she's had a few hardcore matches, she had a ladder match and stuff like that which at the time people thought oh she's gonna cement herself as a great TNA knockout so and then she starts creating her own character being a, a, like a good girl and she was always watching Gail's back but she like she, she likes to call herself the new hardcore knockout which I don't really think that's a appropriate title and I mean she's had good battles with Gail Kim and Angelina Love and Madison Rain. She's had a good deal of fights with, with them all and of course Awesome Kong which brings me on to the heel turn which um, you see it all nice and all goody in the match before she's done a heel turn against Awesome Kong. And she said, oh, I want a no DQ match. Little did we know, she is now the new leader of this faction group called The Dollhouse. And don't get me wrong, it's a good, it's a good faction. It, it is good. I do actually prefer the beautiful people. The original with Velvet Sky and Angelina Love as the best knockout groups. But the dollhouse is like a close second, so so anyway, she becomes the, the, the this new heel and starts putting jawbreakers in people's gobs in there with um, Marty Bell and Jade. Jade is also known as Mia y Mia Yim in the Indies, the indie scene, and them three are the dolls' houses. Like, but she's worse than what the beautiful people was she does she likes to cause trouble and she you think that she's gonna get away with if like if you've seen 
Friday night edition over in the States and over here in the UK last night edition of Impact Wrestling. You see that she she's out at ringside and she's parading around, she's going, I've got a surprise for you all, I'm coming back out later. She comes back out late and she goes, oh, I spent time with Gail Kim's new husband, stepdaughters and blah, 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 which pissed Gail Kim off. But, like, I like the fact where TNA are making things more personal now. Like, are bringing in, like, more personal lives and, like, stuff like that. I know people say, oh, it's a no-no in wrestling, you shouldn't do that. Where, like, WWE is, like, cliche, like, it's crazy, but... Anyway, that's like the backstory to now. Um, my thoughts on Taron Terrell's heel turn. Um, oh yeah, one more thing I should mention. Um, Taron Terrell took time off wrestling to have a baby. And she was back within four months. And if you see her body, it's proper like silhouette. And she's got abs. Where did these abs come from? She's only just had, she had a baby. And then bang. And a baby, I think a baby's not even, t I think a baby turned one or something not long ago. And like, I give, it's like kudos to her. She's like, she's a full time mum, yet she's, yet she's got this great career. She's the TNA knockout champion, so I give kudos to her for that as well. So anyway, my actual thought on her being a heel, to be honest, it's actually be it. This is like my opinion. I think it's good for a career because nowadays all you see is these all these goody goody two shoes and this that and even then all of a sudden is Taryn Terrell done a complete one eighty, become this bad girl. And like if you think of this, oh no, she she's not capable of it. And the next thing, it's it's like. When you see somebody that's like really, really good, but yet deep inside, they're dying to say something, they're dying to just like let the evil out of them. Well, that's how I feel she was like. And all of it, and because she's brought the like the heel out in her, she's just, she's crazy. She's like, come on, come on, come on. And she's like, She's worse than what the beautiful people like. I know, like, the beautiful people used to, like, wear, like, skimpy skirts and skimpy shorts and little boots and stuff like that. And I know Lacey Eric tried to take it one favour to do a strip tease. But Taryn Terrell just went, fuck it, I'm doing it. She just, like, she just didn't give a fuck. She just went, right, I'm showing everybody this. And then went about two minutes later. Whipped the dressing gown off, showed a pair of bras. <laughs> pair of bra yeah, she had two bras on her to like cover her boobs. And then she had two pairs of underwear on, two pairs of underwear on, suspenders, the whole lit. She was like, right, look at me, I don't give a shit. I've not long had a baby, and my body looks good, and I'm willing to show it off. So I was like, oh, what the hell? Is this meant to be TNA? Or. What am I watching here? That, and that's the reaction that we got because it was just something that was unexpected and you wouldn't normally see a tag and tell you, yeah, I don't have any nails, I ripped them off because you annoy me, but I'm getting them done tomorrow. So and that's another thing. Um, so, yeah, the whole tag and tell heel turn came at the right time, the right place, the right time because there wasn't really any heels so with them now bringing the faction in the dollhouse faction it's 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 actually good for the company it's not hindering the company so that's basically my thoughts on the whole Taron Terrell heel turn I just completely agree with what Dixie Carter is doing um, showcasing TNA now and she's going to bring it all live and stuff like that so Keep up the good work, Ditty Carter, because you rule. And yeah, so that's basically it for my vlog 17 about Tad and Terrell. I hope you guys like it. Um, I don't know what vlog 18 is going to be about yet. I'll have a think it might be later on in the week. So yeah.
please stay gory and have unpleasant dreams. And I'm getting ready to go shopping. Ta-ta for now. Bye.